everyone, this is a repair of an Asus gaming laptop. The LCD is not working. It's a cracked screen. It's a TUF uh, model uh, there. And you can see that if I hold the power button, it does turn on. The power light turns on. But uh, there is no light on the screen whatsoever. You can actually, if you look on an angle there, you can actually kind of see that the damaged spot right there in the middle. It's a kind of white circle-ish uh, pattern. So I'm just going to hold the power button and turn off and we will be opening this laptop to have a look at what type of uh, LCD it uses. So just going around, just using a star screwdriver, you can remove all the screws. Um, there are just a couple screws that are a little bit different at the bottom. Um, one is a little bit shorter than the other. And so just remember where those screws go. After you have removed all the screws on the bottom, we can just take uh, the bottom case off. So the bottom case is a little bit, uh, it has these little cl uh, plastic clips. So just using my finger, I'm just prying gently around the outside and going uh, between the crack there and to get those uh, clips undone. And you can pry up just uh, slightly there and going along the sides and the front and then the whole back assembly will just fall right off so this is a uh, the bottom look at it's a really nice laptop uh, normally you have to take off the keyboard to access the electronics but it's fun you just have to remove the plastic case at the bottom now the lcd cable this goes along the cpu fan there and it's a little plastic, there's a little blast, uh, pla black plastic tab that you flip up. Then you can remove that little cable there. And here's a little better look at that. And the connector is a 40 pin connector. So when you're porting a new LCD, uh, yet there's 30 pin and 40 pin. This is 40 pin. But this, it was a very unique because it doesn't have any metal on that ribbon cable. It's just kind of plastic. So looking online, I didn't find any. This is, uh, I have other spare laptops, but it doesn't have the same connector. So looking online, I really couldn't find any for this board that was the same type. So what I'm going to be doing is just leaving that uh, LCD disconnected. And then you can actually still use this gaming laptop by using an external monitor, just connecting to it, the HDMI port there. So I have that plugged in and we'll turn it on here. and. Uh, with it plugged in it will uh, then detect the monitor so that we can actually use this using an external monitor there you can actually see there it's uh, booted up and it's displaying the only thing is you won't have a uh, your own display so that's probably the the best uh, temporary fix now because it's going to cost around 200 to 300 dollars just to get that um, lcd screen okay thanks for watching if you like repair videos you can like and subscribe